Hi, uh, this video explains the best concept learning approach which is used to find best hypothesis for given problem statement. Most probable hypothesis in hypothesis space H given training data denoted by using a probability of H given D. So here the hypothesis space will have numerous, numerous hypotheses. Uh, here the H1 is one hypothesis, H2 is another hypothesis, H3 is third hypothesis, etc. N number of hypotheses will be available in hypothesis space. Hypothesis space. So these hypotheses are derived from or uh, calculated from the given input data set D. The probability of H denotes the initial probability of hypothesis H before uh, observing the training data. So the probability of H is the uh, initial sol uh, guessing solution, guessing solution. So which is uh, be, uh, get uh, which is uh, got before calculate the calculate from the training data. So probability of H is the prior probability of hypothesis H. Hypothesis H and it may reflect any background knowledge to the model in deciding the hypothesis H that H is correct hypothesis that H is the correct hypothesis that means uh, the the prior probability probability of H is given in the data set given in the data set for example here we will have the data set so the h value will be the target values target function labels okay so in the labels we will from this labels we can calculate the probability of h so which is prior probability which is the prior probability so this prior probability will be used to calculate the posterior probability so that is the thing any background knowledge will be reflect on the model to calculate the posterior probability the posterior probability is the correct hypothesis okay if model do not have such prior knowledge then it might simply assign the same prior probability to each candidate hypothesis uh, candidate hypothesis are here h1 h2 etc hn these are all called candidate hypothesis if there is no prior knowledge then same prior probability can be uh, assigned to the each and every candidate hypothesis so here probability of h denotes the pro prior probability that the training data will be observed that means probability of data d given no knowledge about the hypothesis that is uh, the data set which is not giving the uh, prior uh, knowledge okay prior knowledge the probability of d given h probability of d given h that means the probability of observing data d given some knowledge knowledge in which the hypothesis h holds okay so from the prob the d is providing some knowledge okay the probability of h given d is denoted h is the hypothesis given uh, from the training data set d calculated okay hypothesis calculated from the given data set d so here the probability of h given d is posterior probability of H. So, prior probability already we are having the probability of H. Okay. So, here uh, we are going to calculate the posterior probability uh, by using the given data set D. It reflects our confidence that H hypothesis holds after processing the training D. So, okay. So, by using the D, we are calculating the hypothesis H. So, here the Posterior probability is uh, calculated which is reflecting on the uh, training data set, okay, influence of the training data set, the features which are available, okay, features x1, x2, etc., okay, which are all influencing the uh, posterior probability, 
right in in contrast to prob prior probability which is independent of d prior probability is already given the y okay the label y is already given in the data set that is called prior probability okay so when you are taking the data set d here we will get x1 x2 here the label so label y is here from this y we can calculate the prior probability from the x1 x2 you can calculate the uh, you can calculate the uh, uh, some value right from the features that fe that is called that is called probability of h given d h given d right so here the prior probability is independent posterior probability is independent of uh, sorry prior probability is independent of given data set prior because this is already given in the data set so which is not depending on the features which is not depending on the features the posterior probability only depending on the features okay and the maximum a yeah, posterior probability so mostly the model considers set of candidate hypothesis uh, from the h okay from the space h that means our uh, hypothesis space is having the set of candidate hypothesis right so here the model is considering the set of hypothesis available in the hypothesis space which is interested in finding the most probable hypothesis h belongs to hypothesis space given the observed data d so all these hypotheses are calculated from the given data set input data set d so from this n number of uh, candidate hypothesis we can select maximal probable hypothesis maximal hypo uh, probable hypothesis that is the hypothesis which is providing you the optimal solution that is called the maximal probable hypothesis which is called maximum a posterior hypothesis which is can be uh, calculated by using uh, the formula h maximal posterior hypothesis belongs to maximal value from the candidate hypothesis which is belonging to the hypothesis space so the probability of h given d that means probability of hypothesis calculated from the given data set d okay so probability of hypothesis calculated from the given data set d so here we are having the uh, i so h i means we are having h 1 2 h a number of candidate hypothesis from this candidate hypothesis maximal value okay maximum value right maximum value of this candidate hypothesis will be considered as a maximal posterior probability maximal posterior probability so that can be calculated by using the formula uh, base theorem base theorem okay so here finally we are going to uh, get the uh, maximal posterior value so in this one probability of d is given because probability of d is the data set which is common to for all the candidate hypothesis it is common to for all the candidate hypothesis so we can omit this term we can omit this term but in some cases assume every hypothesis in h equally probable equally probable so here we can say probability of h equal to h i equal to probability of h j so the above equation can be simplified by considering the term probability of data given hypothesis to find most probable hypothesis that means maximal probable hypothesis so probability of d given h is likelihood of the data right so this data sam samples are very likelihood samples for calculating the hypothesis so that hypothesis will be maximizing the value maximizing the value so maximum likelihood hypo maximum likelihood can be calculated the hypothesis which is give optimal solution maximal hypothesis value belongs to n number of hypothesis in the hypothesis space probability of d given h probability of d given h so this is you 
you should to calculate the maximum likelihood maximum likelihood data maximum likelihood data so which is used to calculate the maximal posterior probability thanks for watching